Humanique is a financial service platform, so we do every possible action we can do, every possible financial service we can um, offer to the people that don't possess proper identification in emerging markets. So in a sense, it's not a bank, but you can consider this as a medium between the people and the capital. So we do everything for people to get paid and paid. So give me an example of a typical user of Humanique. So our average user is a person from 18 to 25, so millenniums. Um, we are a very, very young platform. And a typical customer would be a student or postgraduate or a current student. And what they would need is that they would need an extra money to live. So they would e either need an access to a remote job or an extra online education or e even an access to online marketplace where they can offer their services, whether they can do something. It's like, it's like a shared economy thing so that they can do something after their studies. So that's how we can actually allow them to get paid and then pay for, for the stuff they need all digital online and at the end of the road uh, how do they get the money out of the system to actually pay for stuff around them right um, so the cash in and cash out solutions that's where we partner with local payment aggregators um, now in the countries where we're working 21 African country cash is still the king so it means that if you are about to get cash, it means that you would actually have to go to one of our merchant um, solutions. There are more than 86,000 merchant available um, that accept Humanique token, so HMT token. So that's where you would actually go physically. And for the platform or employer, how does it work? Is it transparent for them? It is. So what the focus is, is not on even on medium or large businesses. It's not even small businesses. It's extra small businesses as large as one person, again, doing like food delivery or offering, again, building services. So for them, the opportunity is to find the people which are real, which are unique, authentic, and to eliminate the fraud, the scam, which is involved in, you know, all online businesses piece. But it's also to get paid, right, immediately with clear and precise terms and rules of the job of what they have to do. And you told me before the interview that a key part of the system is that you're using blockchain technologies, right? Correct. Um, so the reason why we need blockchain in here is because in the countries where we're working, there's a problem with the liquidity. So even though the majority of the people have asset, which is the most valuable asset everywhere else around the world, which is land, there is not liquid. Many problems involve corruption, again, the lack of liquidity, but that's the fact. So the problem of tokenizing things, the problem of working digitally, that's something that we can do with the blockchain that allows us to enable it quickly, fast, and that's how we scale and grow, and that's how we solve this pain point.